Hello everyone, this is a short video on a very interesting topic called plumber Vincent syndrome. So without wasting any time, let's start. So what is this syndrome? So let's start by seeing the other names of this syndrome. It is also called as Patterson Brown Kelly syndrome and it is also called as sideropenic dysphagia. We'll see why it is called as sideropenic dysphagia in a while. So this is actually a rare syndrome. It is not very commonly seen and it is mostly seen in females rather than males. So that's why if they will give a question about plumber Vinson syndrome, mostly the questions will start by saying a middle aged female. So though it is not very important, you can keep a lookout for this. Okay, so plumber Vinson syndrome is characterized by a triad. This triad includes esophageal webs, angular chelitis or stomatitis and iron deficiency anemia. So esophageal webs and iron deficiency anemia, it is due to both of these manifestations that it is called as sideropenic dysphagia. Sidero here means iron, penic means less or deficient. So sideropenic means iron deficiency. Dysphagia here means difficulty in swallowing and this is seen because of esophageal webs. Hence the name sideropenic dysphagia. So now let's see each of these features in a bit more detail. So esophageal webs, what are they exactly? So these are thin membranes which can occur anywhere in the esophagus. So what these thin membranes do is that they protrude inside the lumen of the esophagus and therefore can cause obstruction. It will become clear from this diagram. Here you can see the thin membrane which is partially obstructing the esophagus. So this is called as an esophageal web. Even here you can see that there is a filling defect due to the web and in fact due to obstruction the food will not be able to pass down and the food can get stuck in the proximal part. So here you can see that the proximal part is a bit dilated also. Okay now what is angular chelitis? So this is an inflammatory skin condition which affects one or both corners of your mouth. Here even the tongue may get involved and cause glossitis. So glossitis basically means inflammation of the tongue. So they can mention this in the question as red beefy tongue. So here you can see angular chelitis which is affecting both the corners of the mouth. And here is glossitis where the tongue is red and is very smooth. Now finally iron deficiency anemia. I've made a very good video on iron deficiency anemia already where I've explained everything that you need to know about this disease. So I highly recommend that you go and check that out. But here in short we will just mention a few clinical features which will be seen. Here there will be fatigue or lack of energy. The patient can even have shortness of breath or chest pain. There can be colonechia which means spooning of the nails. There can be hair loss and there can be a condition called as pica which means a person will compulsively eat non-food items like chalk, mud etc. Now what are the clinical features of this syndrome? So there will be dysphagia. Why? Because of the esophageal webs. There will be odinophagia which means painful swallowing because of the same reason. Atrophic glossitis and angular chelitis we already saw. Colonychia as a manifestation of iron deficiency anemia and also splenomegaly. Finally, how are you going to diagnose this condition? So we can do a barium esophagography, we can do video fluoroscopy and also this huge name esophagogastroduodenoscopy. So all of these three things are going to show us if the esophageal webs are present or not. If they are present, so we will look for the other symptoms and this way we can diagnose if the person has plumber Vincent syndrome or not. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, so please leave them in the comments or you can message me on Instagram anytime. The link to my Instagram is in the description. Thank you.